When it comes to children's rights, students at the British International School of Houston are raising awareness by addressing some of the most pressing questions facing the planet. They're using a social media chain reaction to discuss it. In fact, they join students from around the world who are using Twitter to make their opinions heard, and they're challenging others to take action to help create the future we want for all of our children. And I witnessed it firsthand yesterday. At the British International School of Houston, there are more than 50 nationalities represented, ranging in ages from 2 to 18. On November 20th, a day of learning focused on a global issue, taking to Twitter from time zone to time zone, asking, should the UN curve population growth? And one of the legacies they'd like to create, as I say, is they'd like to create a global movement to make sure that November the 20th is recognized across the globe as the day that the Article of Declaration of Children's Rights was signed. The discussion started with a student-led assembly in the school's auditorium and continued in science, math, design thinking, and even a flute ensemble from the Baroque era. I think their idea is to leave a lasting legacy. So it's not just about November the 20th, World Children's Day. What they're actually trying to do is create a leadership legacy off the back of this and make sure that students that are vulnerable in the world are heard and a voice is heard in terms of solving some of the problems that we face globally. Recently, a group of students traveled to Tanzania to help fellow students get the basic necessities for learning, which included building desks for a classroom. It was sad, but it was like, it made me realize how lucky I was to be in the situation that I'm in here. Um, they had, in the classrooms, there was like, I reckon like 50 kids, and they had, I'd say like 20 desks. So there was like four or five kids on each desk, and like, but they were always happy, which made us like, it made us feel really good that we were able to go over there and help them out. It was a really amazing opportunity and coming back, I think there's a lot of us that feel like we've really opened our eyes to like, a different way of life and how we should be a lot more appreciative of what we do have here. And to make an impact worldwide, there's a call to action by using exercise to make a statement using the hashtag Give20, doing 20 high knees, ankle ups and lunges to encourage a conversation. In essence, what we're trying to do is create the world's future leaders and in modeling that as teachers and allowing students to construct that learning themselves, we hope to be able to build those skills and that development into them. And joining us today, we have principal of the British International School of Houston, Mr. Andrew Derry, along with students Hannah, Alex, Riley, Aliza, and Miriam. Welcome to all of you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You must be so proud of your students. First of all, I just want to say that looking at this piece here, it seems like you have such a diverse collection of really passionate and curious young people. No, we do, and I, I think we were, we, we were on the show, we were fortunate to be on the show, uh, I guess about 18 months ago, and we were just opening the brand new campus. Us there and now we have over a thousand students, 60 nationalities from all over the world. So yes, we're we're hugely proud of them. I, I love it. I had such a great time great. yesterday visiting the school and the campus and dropping into some of the classes. And Hannah, let me bring you in. You, um, you're um, what grade are you in? Are you in 11th grade? Yeah, I'm in the 11th grade. Year 12. And what has this been experience been like for you in the school? Because I love the way that your minds work with this question and building this relationship with UNICEF and the UN. How has that given you some power? Um, well, my experience with this really started back in July when I was invited to speak at the United Nations High Level Political Forum um, in the presence of the President of the UN General Assembly, all about how North Anglia schools have been able to empower young people to make action towards achieving the sustainable development goals. Um, and then from that, I also just got back from Tanzania um, where I was on a service trip where we were building up a nursery school for disabled children and spilling school desks and installing solar lights and goat sheds and smokeless stoves and really just doing what we could to make the lives of the children who are less privileged than us as best as they can be. Um, and so for me, the experience when I got back to school was all about raising awareness of 
problems that children in less privileged areas face and how we can be empowered to empower them to have their own voice. It's so great. I mean, it's a totally atypical educational experience. Alex, you just returned from a service trip to Yellowstone? Um, right? No, I did not go to Yellowstone this year, but um, I have been busy. I've been up to doing some stuff with World Children's Day at the school, just like the rest of us. Um, I've been working very closely with some other students. We've launched a social media campaign in order to bring the issues of World Children's Day to um, the general public's attention. So it's called hashtag give 20. 20 because World Children's Day is November 20th, and that was yesterday. And the idea behind it is that you post a single photo or a video of you doing 20 of something. Maybe you high five 20 people or do 20 push-ups. And then in the comments, in the, in the description below the post, you'd say, I did 20 push-ups, for example, for World Children's Day. Oh. What can you do? Hashtag give 20. Awesome. That way it just spreads to everyone and everyone can hear about World Children's Day. That is fantastic. Using social media. Absolutely. It's very powerful. And want to talk to more students. And Riley, you're in eighth grade. Mm. Tell me about your experience yesterday. I mean, this is pretty powerful. I saw you in the assembly hall. Yeah, um, so what happened was we had them leading the assembly. And in the middle, we stopped the assembly and took the assembly over to show that UNICEF gave us the same students take over. It was a great opportunity for us. We, um, it was a student-led committee we put together to plan the whole event of the days and how we we're going to do the global chain reaction. We, um, and then we, we even entrusted the seventh graders with the school, three seventh graders with the school social media accounts, which they control all this. And Eliza, you volunteer in the community, I understand. Yes, yes What I kind do. of things do you do? Um, I just kind of work with uh, helping bag food for people who need groceries, um, those who can't afford groceries, and just going around and helping the local community in any way I can, truly. I yes. love that. And Miriam, for, for you, I mean, is there anything that you have really attached to a cause that you have gotten behind during your time at the British International School? Well, I mean, for this specific project, our initial initiative was the Global Chain Reaction, which Nordangby Education gave us. So basically what happened throughout the day was we were given a question, which we made a promotional video about, and that was then sent to schools in the Far East, who then responded to our question. And it was all, it went all around the world till it came back to us. And this was all collected on a Twitter feed, so we could see how every Nordanglia school in the world could respond to these questions. That is amazing. It really is incredible. Incredible. You're all a remarkable group. Thank you so much for stopping by. You got to come back again so we can have more of a conversation. I feel like we just heard a little from each of you, but it's very nice. So thank you and best of luck. Thank you. We appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. And for more information about the British International School of Houston, log on to their website. It's bishouston.org, and you can also give them a call at 713-290-9025. They're doing some incredible things. They really are.